Today's project is we're making a rainbow bandana dress. So I've been thrifting a bunch of bandanas. I also just bought a bunch at like Joanne and other craft stores because I needed a lot. Um, I'm not super happy with the color on all of them, so we're gonna try bleaching a few. We're gonna try dyeing a few. It's gonna be a whole experiment. And then I'm going to kind of quilt them together. I'm really excited for this project. I love sewing. I love taking things like quilts or tablecloths that aren't normally meant for wearing as clothes and making them into outfits. So today's dress is going to be very fun and kind of a lot of work, but I am so pumped to see how it comes together. As I gathered my bandanas, some are too bold of a color and some I couldn't find the color I needed at all. So I bought beige and white napkins or bandanas and with those bandanas I decided to dye them and dyeing them is so easy. All you have to do is get the bandana wet with tap water and then you also put more tap water in a pot and you boil it. Once it's boiled I like to add the dye and then I put the bandana in and I always dunk it in and see how it looks because sometimes that's all you need and sometimes it needs to sit for a while so you just gotta sit there and check it out. It never took more than like two minutes to get the dye exactly how I wanted. For the bandanas that are too bold, I am bleaching them. So to bleach them, I'm taking a plastic tub and I'm adding two parts water to one part bleach. And you should probably wear gloves for this, even though I didn't because I just had, um, <laughs> I had like a kitchen tool so that I wouldn't touch the water at all. Um, but I put the bandana, and again, I got the bandana wet first and then I dunked it in the bleach water solution and sometimes it took like 30 seconds for the color to get where I wanted it and sometimes it took closer to 10 to 20 minutes. Um, so it just totally depends on the bandana. And every bandana I used was 100% cotton. I would definitely suggest that if you're dyeing or bleaching bandanas because those are going to react best in those situations. So it was interesting because some of them I could get the perfect color I wanted right away. I pulled them out, looks great. I rinsed them out and hung them out to dry. And some of them, um, like when the air hit them, if they weren't totally under the water, that part got really light and the rest stayed darker. And I don't mind that variation, but it is something that you should expect when you're working with dye and bleach is you're going to have, um, you know, a lot of different colors and it's not all going to soak in the same probably. Some of mine it did and some of them it's a little splotchy and I think it's going to look really cool that way. So after the bandanas were on the line dry, I threw them in the washing machine, washed and dried them, and now I get to iron every single bandana. So I'm using a total of 23 bandanas. One will be the bodice and the rest I'm going to sew in a patchwork pattern. For this project, I really want to do a patchwork, a quilted look with all of the bandanas. Um, last year, my grandma offered to teach me how to quilt and I started a quilt, but I didn't finish it. But I'm going to use the same principles from quilting for this. For the dress, I'm going to do an ombre look so it'll go from um, like a rainbow look so it'll go from pink to orange, yellow, green, blue, purple at the bottom. Um, to get that effect, I'm going to use the nine patch. So that's when you have nine little squares that are sewn together. Each one um, ends up being three inches, but you cut three and a half inch strips first. So I'm taking my bandana, I usually trim off the edge. Some of them, the edge is pretty straight, but some of these bandanas are so cheaply made, they're very wonky, or some of them I thrifted, so they've been, you know, stretched out a bit. So I cut off the edge, and then I start slicing the three and a half inch strips. And I have a piece of tape on my ruler so that it's really easy to see exactly quickly where I'm cutting. So every row of my dress is going to be made of two colors. So after I cut both of those, I'm taking them to the machine and cutting long strips. And I'm putting three strips together and that will make a third of the nine patch. So after I cut, th or after I sew three strips together, then I'm taking it to um, the ironing board and ironing the seams down. And usually you want it so the seams are ironed onto the darkest fabric, because if you do it on the lightest fabric, you'll kind of see through it. And you take it to the cutting board and I'm once again cutting them in three and a half inch strips. So now I'm going to have skinny strips with three pieces of fabric. Okay, so I continue this with each color. So I'm doing a light pink, a dark pink, and then an orange. And once I have a strip of three of each of those, I'm going to sew all of those three together. Again, iron them nice and flat, and then I have my nine patch. So once I have my nine patches, I put enough together to cut out the sleeves. So that was two of the nine patches, and then I easily cut out the sleeves. 
And then I needed to cut out the bodice and the, I'm doing a collar. So for those, I kind of just patched enough to make exactly my, um, the shape I needed for my pattern. The problem is I don't have enough bandanas to use orange on the skirt, which I want to do, and on the sleeves. So I kind of patchworked it together. So I used like the very minimum of what I needed to for the bodice and I'm doing a collar as well. And so it took a little bit to kind of patchwork to that together, iron it flat, and then I cut it out and I did that for both the bodice back and the collar. For the front of the bodice, I found this really cool tiger bandana um, thrifting. So that's just gonna be the front. So for the collar, I cut out the front with the patchwork and the back I just did the liner fabric because you don't see that. Um, after I stitched that together, then I ironed it flat and I think that's looking really cute. This is my third day of working on my rainbow bandana dress and I thought I could finish today and I had very unrealistic expectations. To quilt the skirt, what I did was I took the bandana and I cut it down. Each bandana, I cut off three strips because you don't need quite as much on the skirt. So three strips per color and then I did two colors and I sewed three of them together and I alternated the color. So light blue, dark blue, light blue, dark blue or whatever. So I did three of those and then I did the other color, dark blue, light blue, dark blue. And then I so then I have two units and I cut those down each to three and a half inches. So then I have a three and a half inch wide um, piece. So then I have a piece that's three pieces of bandana wide and three and a half inches tall. So I keep repeating that for all of my skirt fabric. So for my skirt, I like it 24 inches long and 44 inches wide. Um, and this ends up being a little bit like 43 inches wide, which is totally fine. And that takes 18 pieces of bandana. So nine rows with two pieces per row. And I'm doing that ombre effect once again, going through the rainbow. So after I go through with each color and I sew it, I iron it, and then I have the three pieces wide, I started laying it out so I could visually see it, which was the most fun part. So I definitely suggest it. And then I went and I took three of the units and made the nine patch. So it was like a pinky color, an orange color, and a yellow color. That's my first nine patch. So I took the units and put three of them together and sewed those through. Again, I sewed them, I ironed them, so once I have the nine patches, I'm going to have five nine patches wide by three nine patches long. And then I'm going to take the top row of my nine patches. This seems so complicated. It's really not that complicated. But I take the top row and I sew all of those together. And then I take the middle row and I sew all those together. And I take the bottom row and I sew all those together. I give them a good ironing and I lay them out again. And then I can do the final stitching, which is I just stitch those three rows together. So then we have one big piece of quilted fabric, which took an amazingly long time, many, many, many hours, which is funny because you could just go to the fabric store and buy fabric and cut it out in 15 minutes. Um, but I'm going for this really cool bandana thrifted look and it's gonna be worth it. And it looks so cool, but it does take a long time. Um, it's probably to do both sides. It's going to be like 10 hours of sewing, which is just a lot. I wish I would have thought through that more and maybe made them bigger, but it also looks so cool because they're small. Once the fabric was done, I started putting the actual garment together, which is very exciting. So for the sleeves, I sewed the seam under the arm and I gathered the top part so that you can have a puff sleeve with this pattern and I hemmed the bottom of the sleeve. And then for the bodice, I sewed the sides together. I sewed the shoulders together. And then usually what I do is I sew my collar onto my the top of my bodice and that finishes the neck hole. But with this one, for some reason, my um, I didn't make my collar big enough. So I kind of finished the collar with double fold bias tape and then I'll still have the collar on top of that. I just don't want a raw edge on the collar. That seems like a bad idea. So once the bodice and the sleeves were done, I connected those two together and then I started working on the skirt. So first thing I did was iron over the bottom and then hem the bottom. And then I also am doing pockets on this because if you're making a custom dress, you might as well have pockets. Girl needs a place to put her phone. Um, okay, so for the pockets, I just stitched them onto the side and 
then I gathered the top of the skirt and the best way for me to gather is to just put the bodice down on the table and then gather until the top of the skirt matches the bodice. So once the skirt is gathered, then I sew up the side, including around the pocket, and that puts the skirt all together. And then all you have to do to really finish the dress is connect the skirt to the top. One problem I had with this project is that the inside is a million seams and I really worried about how delicate like these thin bandanas would be. So I decided to line the dress and to line the dress, I used fabric I had on hand and then I didn't have enough so I had to buy another color because um, they didn't have the original color and I didn't want to start off from scratch. But I essentially made the same dress again and then what I decided to do was put it inside out into the other dress so that you don't have any seams at all. It's very fancy. And that really finished off the dress. And I am obsessed. I think it's so cute. I think it's so fancy. I think that it would be really cute to wear to like a state fair or to like a rodeo if you're into that sort of thing with like cowgirl boots. And I just think it's really adorable. Perfect summer dress. And I also made a bow for my hair that matches it and a bandana, of course. So I think this is a really fun project. It's a huge time commitment. Um, I've been dreaming of this though, so I am fine that it took a while. I, I mean, I wish it took less time, but it was kind of worth it for me. Um, and now I have like a one of a kind dress that is like very fancy and very cool. Anyway, um, what do you guys think about the dress? Do you like it? Would you make something like this? Part of my point of making this project is I want to inspire people to use items that like maybe they can find out thrifting or at estate sales or secondhand shops and give them a new life instead of maybe buying fast fashion and that like by dyeing hand making things you can make really bespoke items that are really special um, and I just think that it's worth the time and the effort. Anyway, if you like this project, if you like the dress, please give it a thumbs up and then I will know to make more videos just like this one.